Okay, good morning folks and uh, welcome to another Sunday ride series. We're on the uh, shores of uh, Lake Windermere, just at Bonus here. And uh, yeah, we've got a bit of a uh, grumpy old day with uh, lots of clouds and it actually rained coming up here. Um, so I thought I'd start the journey from here and it stopped raining just now, so that's all good. So um, yeah, we can't go north from here um basically because the uh, the rain has uh, fallen that way we were going to go up to a uh, quarry where i used to uh, go diving years ago up near coniston so what we'll have to do we'll have to actually go down uh, south from here where the uh, the weather's a little bit better uh, i'd rather be in dry weather than wet weather so uh, yeah just taking in this beautiful view of uh, lake windermere uh, it's about uh, 7:30 in the morning no one around and uh, just glorious good to be out on a uh, a lovely day uh, even if there is a little bit of rain uh, around in the uh, the clouds just now just take it all in beautiful views absolutely love the lake district and it's um it's a super place to visit just at this time less tourists and uh, no one around so what's everyone been up to this week uh, it's been uh, it's been actually a slow slow week at work, and uh, I'm not sure whether it's due to a lot more people getting back to work and catching up on things. Yeah, I was hoping for a break in the weather this weekend, and it's just uh, not happening. So uh, I woke up really early, about 5 a.m. this morning, and uh, there was a bit of blue sky, and uh, maybe I should have gone south from uh, where I live, the north. I had this uh, strange idea to uh, head up to a, an old uh, quarry, a slate quarry, just above Coniston where I used to dive. Yep, scuba dive in an old slate quarry that's full of water. And uh, yeah, it was quite good diving and uh, good training ground really for, uh, for about 20 to 30 meters deep and uh, good for uh, cave diving as well because there's the old slate tunnels uh, under the water down there. So we're going to head down uh, towards Newby Bridge and uh, see where it takes us. So some really nice lovely houses down here as they back onto the, uh, the lake. A few nice hotels as well. All closed at the moment though. So it's brightening up a little bit and uh, we're just down uh, towards Newbury Bridge now. So everything south of here is uh, 
is not raining so uh, that's where I'm going to head probably take you on a little detour past the Swan Hotel down past uh, Lakeland Motor Museum and then we'll probably go left at Haverthwaite and uh, around along uh, Holker Mosses to Holker through Cark and uh, around towards Granger the Sands before we head back uh, south today. be nice when a few of these places start opening up. The Swan Hotel at Newby Bridge there is really good for food. Nice to sit outside in the summer. Not that you think it was summer today. 15 degrees and showers. Take a detour down high here into Back Barrow so you can see the uh, where the motor museum is. So if you're up this way, um, I have featured it in a back I have featured this place in a back catalogue video. It's not open yet because of the lockdown, but uh, just there we've got uh, Lakeland Motor Museum and uh, also Cafe Ambio, which is really nice. Uh, so if you want to see inside that place, have a look round, either come and visit it when it's open, or you can uh, view it in my back catalogue, and uh, I'll put a link to it <coughs> at the top of the screen just here, and uh, just here we've got the Whitewater Hotel and Spa. Now this place used to be a Dolly Blue Works, and uh, you probably heard in a previous video, I used to live just up the road from here when I was a child. Um, uh, I used to come and get the bus right outside that uh, factory there. And uh, all the guys, all the workers used to come out looking like Smurfs. They were just blue from head to toe, hair and everything. Not very uh, health conscious uh, these days really. And that's why you don't get factories like that anymore. So yeah, it was turned into a hotel and a spa. And I bet it took a lot of cleaning up to get it to a uh, state where they could uh, do that. So we're just coming up to the uh, the A590 just here. And we're going to be heading across and then left. You've got the uh, Haverthwaite Railway, Steam Railway Station on your left, or right just there. And that will take you up to uh, Lakeside, so you can get the steam train up to the, uh, the boats that take you all the way up Lake Windermere. It's quite a nice family day out. quite nice seeing these parts uh, when I do come up here. Obviously I live uh, south of here now in Lancaster but uh, when I was a child and up to about uh, the age of 18 I lived uh, in the lakes. Nice to see some uh, clear sky ahead of us. Finally. 
I'm just going to head left here. This will take us down to Holker, where you've got Holker Hall and uh, grounds. Also, uh, good for a stop. We've got a little cafe there, but obviously it's not open just now. So we're just in Cark, in Cartmel. Uh, we're heading left down towards Cartmel. Now uh, Cartmel is famous for uh, a couple of things. One, it's horse racing on the race course, which uh, actually is only uh, held about four meetings a year. Uh, but it's a good day out, normally on bank holidays. And uh, so the other thing Cartmel is famous for is its sticky toffee pudding. Now uh, some say it originated from here, and some say it didn't, and it came from somewhere else. But uh, if you come to Cartmel, head to the uh, the old post office there and uh, pick up some sticky toffee pudding, and it's uh, very yummy. So we're going to actually uh, head to Cartmel just down the road here, and then we're going to take you through the village show you that. You've got uh, Cartmel Priory Church as well there. A lot of history behind that place. And also about 15 years ago I actually lived in Cartmel. My parents lived in Cartmel and uh, I actually went to school in Cartmel. Junior and secondary school. So on the right there you can probably not see because the houses are in the way. But you've got Cartmel Fell, and then the other side of that is Grange Over Sands. When I was at school, we used to go up onto the tops there. We used to find fossils. Lots of fossils. Um, so the sea level used to be to the top of that mountain at one point. Okay, so you've got Cartmel Priory Church right in front of you. few tea shops here and uh, ice cream shop straight in front. We've got a restaurant there, Long Plume, Rogan's, and then you've got uh, in the centre here you've got the uh, Royal Oak and the King's Arms, but they're all closed currently. And then right in front of us there we've got the uh, Cartmore Village store. And uh, that's where you get your sticky toffee pudding from. So we're just going to head under the arch. And then you've got another pub on the right hand side here, the Cavendish Arms. And then uh, this little road now goes past all these little lovely cottages. Uh, that place just on the right there is uh, Long Clume. And uh, one of the top uh, restaurants in the country. And then you've got uh, the Priory Church, just to my right here, coming round to the other side of it. Just here. And then uh, these little cottages on the left, just here, 
about 15 years ago I used to live in the end cottage just there the one with the green windows a lovely little place Quite a sleepy village, not a lot happening here. Busy in summer with tourism and uh, when the races are on, obviously. You've got a spa shop just down here on the right hand side. Just going past the primary school just here. That's where I went to primary school. And uh, here's your spa on the right just here. And what used to be spa, it's now a premier store. I wonder if it's owned by Premier Inns. Same, same outfit. Okay, so uh, we're just going to head over the mountain now and drop down into Grange over Sands. I'm going to have a uh, a coffee stop just there at my sister's if she's up this early, as it's only uh, ten past eight, which I doubt they're even up yet on a Saturday, but you never know. Go on, squirrel. Go on, run, 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 run. There we go. That's a rabbit and a squirrel, all within about uh, a mile of each other. Another one, just running up that hedge. All the wildlife's out. And I think it was um, the guys at 44 Teeth when they were doing a live stream yesterday. When I was watching it, they've uh, they've noticed uh, more roadkill on the road, and uh, that's because there's been no cars on the road. So all the animals are coming out on the road, thinking, "Hey, where's everybody gone?" They're getting a little bit uh, used to having no cars around, and then getting caught out. So uh, yeah, I've seen a lot more roadkill actually than normal just lately. So there's the uh, the bay, Morecambe Bay, just in front of Grange over Sands. Uh, we're just going to stop in a minute for a coffee. See my sister. Wake them up, and then we'll carry on our uh, our journey back down towards Lancaster. <clears throat> okay, and onward. So this is uh, Grange over Sands Town and uh, we're going to head back from here. It's just started to rain again so that, uh, that rain is pushing down from the north towards the south. You've got a co-op here, you've also got a spa here, good fish and chip shop just here when it's open. got a Costa Coffee, you've got a Higginson's, that white van was uh, wanting to pull out there straight in front of me, wonderful, and oh, then the rain's coming, so who says I don't go out in the rain any, any time, not just a fair weather rider, although I prefer uh, nice dry weather, so you've got a few uh, cafes on the left hand side here. Oh, look at this shower coming in. Apologies about the rain guys. Can't be helped, I thought I might be able to dodge it by going south, but uh, although it's brighter, it's uh, certainly more, more heavy than it ever has been today.
Okay, so we're just heading through Milnthorpe now, and up back down the A6, and uh, just finishing the journey off back down through Carnforth and to Lancaster. So it's been a funny old day. Hope we get rid of this uh, bad weather soon, so that we can get out and uh, do some nice rides. So thanks for sticking around, guys, and uh, watching the videos lately. So we've got a live stream coming up on Wednesday. And uh, if you want to ask me a question, anything uh, about bikes or, or life in general, um, just come on to the live stream. It starts at 6 p.m. Uh, UK time, and uh, that's this Wednesday coming up. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you on a uh, on Wednesday, and uh, catch you on some more videos later. So uh, thanks again to the subscribers that support the channel. And uh, if you're not a subscriber hit that uh, subscribe button and uh, click the bell for notifications of videos coming up guys okay i'll catch you on another one take care